Hey everyone, it's good to see you again today. Welcome to the very first episode of Mages of Mistralia. Before we start, I want to say this game was given to me by the developers, so thank you very much, developers. This will not affect my playthrough uh, one bit. I'm gonna enjoy it or I'm gonna hate it. Who knows? I know nothing about this game. It looks fun, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna start off with an adventure. Let's go! There was once a pleasant green meadow beside a waterfall here near the Mistral Woods, with an ancient and splendid temple-like stone pavilion older than the mage kings themselves. They used it as a forest hunting lodge until time collapsed it into ruins. No one ever goes there anymore. <laughs> okay, let's start. Ah, oh, that's sad. Oh wow, this game is very pretty. Oh, and she's very pretty. Whoa, what the heck happened over there? She's running away from that explosion. And now we're in a forest, I guess. Whoa, look at that goatee! So, they know about your secret now? Who, who are you? Your mentor. I have nothing better to do than start you on your road to becoming a mage. Because if I don't, you'll no doubt burn down the entire valley, idiot girl. Wh what Leave me alone, it was an accident, I... He's like, what the heck did I do? <laughs> I know, come. To go where? I don't want to be a mage. Think you so? Well, you probably didn't want to stop having a home and an uncle either. But it happened. So you can be someone the Marquise will soon have imprisoned or killed for being a mage, or you can be a real mage and do some good in the valley. Come and heed me and learn. Who are you? I told you. Mentor. Something wrong with your ears, girl? Who are you? Zia. Greetings, Zia. Time to start growing up. What? Life is so easy, is it not? You have the gift, you are a mage, or rather, you will become a mage, or you will soon become dead. Choose! I... I don't want to die. So you are a mage, let us begin. But how? Come with me, you have much to learn. So dramatic, right off the bat! It's either death, or learn to become a mage. But becoming a mage could be just the thing to lead us on the path to death. Ooh, sorry, I wanted to sound dramatic as well. <laughs> anyway, look at us. Look at this. Wow. Can I do anything? I can't shoot or anything like that. Why do these things light up? What's all that about? I can't do nothing with them. Yo, what's your name? Mentor. Yo. About time. Mages can't sleep all day. So, spellcraft. <gasps> Majory, then, if that word scares you less. If people cared less about words and more about deeds, the valley would be a better place. Come, you still want to be a mage? Oh yes, but how? By trying and failing and so learning spells. Sorry, I said that so weird. That was a spell. What spell? Ah, you seek to dazzle me with your brilliance already. I taught you the basics, but you need to learn spells. Try to do magic without knowing and without a spell book and cottages burned down. Yes? Not good. Not good. So, try and fail and so learn. Go to Haven where mages meet. There are others? Yes, there are others like us. In Haven you shall receive your training. It is in deep forest and not easy to find, so follow the trail that leads deepest in. There I shall also be and will teach you some beginnings. You, you mean I go to Haven alone? Of course, you're the one who wants to be a mage, so go. But, but isn't it dangerous out in the valley? Of course, but, but, oh, don't worry, girl. If you meet some horrible monster, just burn them up. You managed a whole cottage, didn't you? Life is so easy, is it not? Oh, he is not going easy on us, that's for sure. Uh, so where do I go? Where is, like, which way? Oh, this way? 
Alright, I guess we're going to this mage place. <sighs> Through the deep forest we go. Is this the deep forest? Probably not. This is like a, a value of some sort. Oh god! Well, game over. That was fun, guys. <laughs> oh, it's shallow. She can swim. On account of her hair, is she gonna have fire magic, I wonder? I don't know. Great! How am I going to reach Haven now? Uh, we didn't really go that far, to be honest. Not much of a de uh, detour. A game produced by Louis Felix. Ooh. Patrick J. Mondo. Pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. This game is very pretty. Mages of Mistralia. Cool. Hey, a spell book! I mean, I assume it's got magic surrounding it. It's a book. A spell book, right? Magic book? It's gotta be it. A spell book? I wonder what it is doing here. Who are you? Did it just speak? Or was it only in my head? Well, perhaps you'll do. Fear not, young mage. I can get you back on your way. I'd better take it with me. Scary. Spellbook! This spellbook appears to be communicating with me, telepathically. I don't think Mentor's book does that. Yeah, maybe I'm special. Maybe I'm special. Uh, let's see. Here, let me show you how to use an Emedy spell. Alright. Emedy allows for instantaneous, oh, sorry, instantaneous spells, such as slashes and explosions. Okay, uh, Emedy. Alright, uh... Emedi. There you go. What's this? Emedi. Oh, hey. That worked. When in doubt, just hit things. Yeah, give me cool stuff. What's this? Money? It's like a glowy orb thing. I don't know what that could be. And... So I have to actually apologize to the developers. I was meant to play this a long time ago, but I've been putting it off for so long. I've just been so busy with my own game. Yo, what's up? You wanna fight? I love how I'm just kind of like, like this seems so soft, doesn't it? It doesn't seem hard hitting at all. It's like I'm giving him a slight tickle. <laughs> it's really funny. Cool, we did it. Goblins, this board? Which mage isn't guarding this part of the forests? Hmm, who knows? Why'd I choose that voice for you? Another mystery. That's gonna destroy my throat. <laughs> anyway. Oh, we're getting some, uh, oh, here, you'll need a new trick. I will teach you how to cast an Ego spell. Sounds good. Ego allows for spells affecting oneself, such as shields and fast movement. All right, uh, Ego. Shield, wow, that's cool. And that's to, like, do a stance. All right, uh, so I have a shield now. Don't know what that's useful for. I'm gonna hit these things. Because I want all of these glowy things. They seem like money. They make little, like, ding-a-ding -ding sounds when you pick them up. So it must be money, right? It looks like there's a chest right here, but I don't think so. Uh, I assume... Oh, there's more barrels up here. I assume I'm going to need to, uh, use my shield to block that wind right there. So we'll try that out. Come on. There you go. Yo, Wind, you ain't got nothing on me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sweet! Uh, alright, we'll break this stuff too. Give me lots of money, come on. So, eventually this game becomes into that of a crafting game where you craft your own spells, which is very nice, but don't be put off by the word crafting, because it's not like your typical survival crafting game. It's not survival at all. It's more like a Zelda type game where you just have to create spells in order to pass and there's so much customization involved it's beautiful that's all I know about the game to be honest uh, if you want any information then go down into the, the, the description sorry and you'll figure it out I feel you have a natural affinity with the next one yes I call it an Actus spell okay Actus allows for spells with conditional durations such as mines and projectiles all right, uh, Actus. Wait. Oh. Lame. I don't, oh, I like this. There you go, that makes sense. Uh, like I was saying, go into the description and you can find any information you need on the game down there. I know I said you'll figure it out. That sounded so condescending, but uh, 
Yeah. Oh, hey, wait a second. Oh. It's because I'm standing on it, huh? Um. How do I do this, I wonder? Oh, I know. I'll just place it here, and it will come back. Wait, no. There you go. Perfect! Alright, that worked! I'm surprised. I'm glad it did, because I had no backup plan. Pew! Pew! Shoot all these! Look at all these uh, hearts that I'm getting. Oh, hang on. There's these that I gotta break. Yeah, give me all that money. I have $37. Dollar dollar bills, y'all! I don't know why I'm being so random today. It's weird. Where are we going? Oh, right there! Wait, uh, does this hurt you? Come over here. Yeah, that does. That's awesome. It does hurt him. <laughs> Really? I don't know I said. That does so weird. Break this stuff. Break it all. Thank you. That's nothing. You only have one spell type left to learn. Here's a Creo spell. Okay. What is Creo, I wonder? Creo allows for spells with a durable effect, such as ice bridges and firewalls. Ooh. Okay. Ice bridge it up. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. What if I, like, hold the button? Okay, it doesn't do much, to be honest. Oh, I'm getting hurt really bad. There you go. Give me hearts, please. Thank you. And I also need stamina, but I don't think you can pick up stamina. Uh, okay, you didn't drop anything. What's this? What's this strange sign on the ground? It looks like a teleportation glyph, but I don't know where it leads. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Let's go. Where does this thing leave? Traveling to Haven. When the royal family and all other mages were banned from Mistralia, some of them remained and built this secret hideout. The only path leading in is magically hidden, so an unwitting traveler could blunder through the place and not know they were near a settlement. Cool. Wow, Haven is beautiful. It's so pretty. Although every place in this game is pretty, let's be honest. You certainly took your time getting here. I fell in the river near your house. Mentor, I found this strange spell. What's this? You already have a spell book? Show it to me. You already have spells in there too? Well, you certainly skipped a lesson or two. Welcome to Haven, Zia. We mages meet here when needed. And this is the enchanter. H Hello, nice to meet you. Hmm. Yes, I'm the one who takes care of this place. Normally, he's the... Oh, sorry. Normally, he's also the one who provides you spell books, but you're beyond that now, it seems. You are ready to go out into the world and start becoming a proper mage. We learn by doing. First, you're going to Mistral Woods. Evil has started to take root there. What can I do? You do what mages do. Find the source of the corruption and get rid of it. Is that really what mages do? Mages keep the valley safe from wayward magic. This was our role during the time of the mage kings, and it still is. Now it is your role too. A tip before you go. You see this lamppost here? We mages can use it to record our memories, to preserve our progress. Use it as you travel. This is what allowed mages to prevail for so long. So thank you, Enchanter. Also, don't step on my flowers. Follow the road down south to reach Mr. Woods. Good luck, if you believe in such a thing. Thank you. Alright, so do I interact with it? No, it just automatically does its thing, I guess. Oh, look at all these jars! I'll break them. Wow! Yeah! Oh, not much money from that, huh? Can I pick up this flower, by the way? Get off my garden! Come see me, young lady. Okay, sure thing. What's up? People keep stepping on my garden and trampling my poor flowers. That's why I'm going to ask you to get me some new bulbs. You see that blue flower? That's a magic lily. Plant four magic lily bulbs to complete my garden. You'll find one in the Mr. Woods, one in the Rise, and one in the Highlands. I don't know where the last one is. I'll try to find them. Great, you can imbue some magic lilies from my garden with soul beads to create mana charms, which allow you to regain your mana in no time. The more magic lilies you plant, the more mana charms you'll be able to make simultaneously. Okay, I didn't understand. Mana charm, a mana charm crafted out of a magic lily and soul beads. I can use it to regain mana. Okay, that's nice. Can I go in here, by the way? Nope, I can't. I'm gonna break everything that you've ever loved, my friend. Yep, this is all mine. Great. Okay. Oops, I stepped on his tail. He's not gonna like that. 
I mean, maybe it's better than stepping on his uh, gardens. Did that flower disappear? Where'd the flower go? I guess I took the, the petals? Weird. Anyway, uh, let's see. So we gotta go to a place uh, that I don't know. Mentor told me to... Oh, sorry. Mentor told me about a yearly gathering of mages. Maybe this is where it takes place. Hmm, this stone used to be in Mistralia Castle. Mages would gather around it to decide where they should put their efforts next. This is intriguing. Uh, is this book good? The voice I've given him is evil. Is he evil? I hope not. <laughs> I certainly hope not. Anyway, there's a chest here. What's inside? Green soul beads time five. Uh, times five, sorry. These stones are very common in Mistralia. They were used as magic regents during the time of the Mage Kings, but its use prevailed as currency. Great. If they're everywhere, then this is an overinflated market, isn't it? Uh, whoa, look at this guy. Wait, I can go over here? I bet there's a secret over here. Is it gonna... Wait. Oh, now I'm going down here. I thought this was like a background type thing that you couldn't go to, but I guess you can go down here. That's cool. What is this? What a strange device. This instrument is used to safely observe the sky. It's currently unpowered. Alright, well that was useless coming over here. I love the little particle effect on my wand, how it like moves with the wand. That's nice. You'll see it in a second. Here we go. Just look at it. That's awesome, isn't it? I like it. Yo, what's up, short stuff? Hello, Zia. Right, I'm Sina. Welcome to Haven. You can come here to relax, meet other mages, and eat. There is also the trial of the mages to test your skills, but you're not ready for that yet. Ah, oh, what? I'll let you know when I'm ready. You'll see. What's this thing? The plate says... De Brucid. Legendary hero and quite mad. Oh. He's mad, huh? I feel like everyone in this game should be British. I don't know why. Maybe it's the magic? Who knows? What does this say? It says, The Hall of Trials. Test your skills as a mage for a chance to win amazing prizes. It's closed. Ah, so I can't go in? Darn. How do I leave this place? Do I have a map of some sort? Nope. Oh, these are my spells, huh? Wow. That's cool. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave that there for someone, I guess. My bad. I d actually didn't mean to click that. How do we leave this place? Somebody help me! Shall we go down here? No. Oh, down this thing? Let's go. This has got to be the way, right? Whoa, are these mana fountains and health fountains? Drop four of those things and your life shall increase. Oh, I can't do that. Not now. Maybe someday, though. What's this about? Oh, you're new. I'm Emma. I'm a mage just like you. I guess you're wondering how to get out. Yes. Haven is protected by a magical seal. You need to dispel it before you go in and out. Why don't you try to unseal it? Is this what I used to unseal it? Read. Here we go. Speak mage and enter. Okay. Um. Wait. I replaced these. Okay, well, I assume... Yeah, I thought so. Just make a triangle. Seemed obvious enough. Someone's gonna have to refill that. <laughs> Someone refills that every time we do this, I bet. Oh, cool. Stairs. Great job! I knew you could do it! Ancient mages used to hide their belongings in sealed caches. Or caches. I still don't know how to say that word. If you're lucky, you'll find other seals in remote places in the valley. Alright, nice. Okay, so... Treasure chests, I assume you mean? That's what you're talking about in a roundabout way? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm completely wrong there. Uh, what's this thing? Anybody know? I guess not. Can I break it? The answer is no, I cannot break it. Uh, can I pick these mushrooms up? No, I can't. I love this game. It's so pretty. What's this thing? The plate says... Lethor, or sorry, Uther Bathian, the royal cartographer, a man who dreamt of exploring the world. He bravely ventured into the unknown to put in ink the lay to put in ink the lay of our land. His footsteps reached the most secluded glades, the highest peaks, and the farthest shores. Nice, young lady. Can you tell me where we are? I'm not sure. Oh well, my map says we're here. I'll just follow the road. I hate having to take a detour. 
I'm sorry, man. Remember, you can access your map to see how to reach other areas. Okay, so map is that button. Haven. When the royal family and all other mages were back... Yeah, we already read that a while ago. So, we gotta go here, Mr. Woods. Uh, we are right here right now, so... I guess we gotta take a right and go upstream, it seems like. So, yeah, sorta upstream, sorta not. I can't teleport there. Whatever. Uh, let's just go this way, I suppose. Hopefully this leads us the right way. Mr. Woods, yes, okay. Long ago, the villagers of Greyleaf used to transport goods through the woods, but had to stop when the Marquise pulled back his patrolling guards. The goblins have since then taken over, and travelers on the main road always feel watched. Huh. Mr. Woods. Wow, it's pretty. It's pretty daunting, honestly. Oh, this hasn't turned into a platformer or anything. Don't worry, it's still top down. <laughs> Don't get scared now. There you go, I lit that fire. Oh, cool, and I got money for it. That's nice. The puzzle aspect of this. Oh, I guess you can pick up stamina. That must have been what that blue thing was. So, I hope I made the right decision by going down. Oh, it seems it didn't matter which direction. Help! Okay, yeah, sure, I'm coming. I'm coming to save you. Hey, goblins. Oh, they're all... Oh, God. Ugh, come over here, you suckers. No, 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 no. Oh, I, I'm not good at that at all. I try to block. Does it block? Yeah, it does. Yo, I saved your life. You all good? Are you okay, Rachel? Zia, you saved me. I guess you're not so bad after all. What are you doing in the woods? You know it's dangerous. With the way to the castle blocked, I was trying to find another way to get there and sell my wares. But my cart broke down and I was attacked by goblins. It only gets more dangerous from here. I'll gather my things and return to Greyleaf for now. Can you let my husband Vitas know that I'm here? I'm sure... I'll sure need his help with the cart. Sure thing, it's burnt. You're not getting any help with this from anyone. Sorry, my friend. Uh, but you're screwed. Anyway, I noticed a small creature up here. Yeah, here we go. What's all this about? Hitting him does nothing. Oh, there we go. Wow, he's as strong as a goblin. Goblins must be very weak then. Huh. Anyway, whoa, what's this? There's like a magical version. Mr. Wood Swamp. The Rise and Greyleaf Hamlet. So the Rise... This last one seems to be shimmering. It says Haven. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I don't need to go there right now. I need to... Uh, I don't know. Save this area from evil, if I remember correctly. Because there's bad monsters here. I'm gonna attack the, these. Yeah. Yo, goblin, you wanna fight me? Come on, I can get you. Perfect. Gosh, this game is so fun. I can't wait until we start tinkering with spells, honestly. That's the fun part. Until then, we're just gonna have to get through this. Thank you. Any more evil? Yeah, there's evil here. Uh-oh. Come on, don't hit me with any of that. Oh, that almost got me. Yo, sucker. Get ready to die. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You're next, pal. This is a really fun game. I really like this. This is, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's on Steam if you want it. I'm playing it through Steam. What's wrong with me? Wait, where does that lead us? Probably the wrong direction, so I'm not going to go that way just yet. Uh, but yeah, this is a game that's on Steam. Once again, if you want any information on it, just go down into the description. I don't know why I said that in a British accent for a moment, but that was weird. Weird, weird. Why am I speaking strange? Let's see. Oh, cool, a new puzzle. All right, this one seems like it should go there. Um, but maybe not. One needs to go here. Oh, there aren't enough for all of them, I guess. Okay, this one should go there. This one needs to go there. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I've almost got it. Perfect, I did it. Okay, great. Oh, hey, treasure. Purple soul bead. Purple soul beads are quite uncommon and much more potent as ma magic regents. Regent, sorry. But common Mistralians regard it as defective, considering them to have no monetary value. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Well, we got a cool thing, so that's nice. I guess we do have to go off screen to the right, as we were before, so we're gonna head over there. Um, 
I haven't seen any lamp posts yet, so we'll go until the next lamp post and then I'll end it. Unless it's right over here, then I I don't know. Maybe I'll still end it. Great Leaf Hamlet. With the Mistral Woods controlled by goblins and the main road to Mistralia blocked by a recent rock slide, this bucolic mountaintop Hamlet's inhabitants feel more isolated than ever. When Zia accidentally burned down her house, house they were quick to take matters into their old own hands and exile her. Sorry, my bad. Great Leaf Hamlet. Cool, we're here now. And there's a lamp post, so I think we're gonna end it here, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a bit of a long episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.